It's a love story that knows no borders. It's a tale of love between a North Korean and Vietnamese student that blossomed almost five decades ago. Until this day in North Korea and in Vietnam at the time, relationships with foreigners are strictly forbidden. This couple overcame all obstacles to be together and are now hoping for an end to hostilities after the Trump Kim summit in Hanoi. It's a love story that knows no borders. In North Korea, relationships with foreigners have long been forbidden. And when a Vietnamese student fell for a North Korean girl 50 years ago, they both knew that their journey would not be easy. From the moment I saw him, I was so sad because it would be a love that cannot be realized. Tham Nok Khan first came to North Korea in 1967 when Vietnam was locked in a war with the United States. He was one among 200 Vietnamese students sent to North Korea to gain the skills the state needed to rebuild itself once the war was over. It is here young Khan spotted Ri Yong Hui and soon their love story blossomed. The couple had to tread with caution as a Vietnamese comrade had been beaten when he had been found with a local girl. Khan had to return to Vietnam a few years later, not knowing what fate had in store for him. I think that we have to live to love. There's nothing bad in loving. I thought to myself that we had to be together. Even death wouldn't be able to stop that. But it was an act of generosity which finally paved the way for them to unite. In the late 1990s, North Korea was gripped by a devastating famine and Khan raised seven tons of rice in donations. Acknowledging Khan's act, North Koreans allowed him to marry Ri and live in either country, provided Ri maintained her North Korean citizenship. In 2002, the two tied the knot in the Vietnamese embassy in Pyongyang, when North Korea took the rare step of allowing one of its citizens to marry a foreigner. The couple then settled down in Hanoi. The couple are now hoping that the upcoming summit between US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on 27th and 28th February in Hanoi may help end hostilities with Pyongyang. At first, when people heard Comrade Kim Jong-un decided to meet President Trump, they expected something big or unification to happen soon. However, it's hard to realize in one or two days. I just hope things would work out well. Will the Hanoi summit change the equations? This couple certainly hopes so. Bureau Report, World is One.